In the third video of Active Directory migration video series, we are going to prepare our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain to support new Windows Server 2016 domain controller in our existing Active Directory environment. Windows Server 2012 R2 ADTS domain and forest functional level must be minimum Windows Server 2008 or higher recommended. Before adding a Windows Server 2016 domain controller to the existing 2012 R2 environment, it is mandatory to update the Active Directory schema to Windows Server 2016 version. You must update the schema from the domain controller that hosts the schema operation master role. To do this, you have to log into the schema role holder DC using enterprise admin and schema admin privilege account. So let's prepare the forest schema for our mylab.local domain. Let's move to our Windows Server 2012 R2 VM and already on this computer, I log in as an administrator account. First of all, let's check the group membership of our administrator account. I recommend from I'm going to type command net user administrator. And here you can see our username is administrator and the global group membership of this user is domain admin, scheme admin, and enterprise admin, as well as domain user and group as creator. So we have a sufficient privilege to perform the schema update process. Okay, let's check which DC holds the current schema master FSMO role. At the command prompt, I'm going to type command netdom query FSMO. And here we can see all the five FSMO roles currently holding by SRD hyphen DC0 because we have only one domain controller for our MyLab local. So we are going to perform the schema update process on our SRD hyphen DC0 one. But before we proceed, Let's check the current schema version of our Active Directory domain. Let's open RegEdit. Let's expand HK Local Machine. Expand System. Expand Current Control Set. Expand Services. And then look at NTDS. Expand NTDS and then click on Parameters. Here you can see the current schema version for our Active Directory Forest is 69 for Windows Server 2012 R2 Forest. For Windows Server 2016 Forage, the schema version must be at 87. So we will check the schema version after preparing our forest to host Windows Server 2016 domain controller. Let's close this console. Now let's check the current uh, domain in forest functional level. And for that, I'm going to use domain.msc command. That will open activity domain and trust console. Select raise forest functional level and here you can see our current forest functional level is 2012 R2. Let's click on OK and let's click on mylab.local. Right click on it and select raise domain functional level. Here you can see our current domain functional level is Windows Server 2012 R2. So our forest and domain functional level are both set to Windows Server 2012 R2. So now let's uh, prepare the schema for our activity forest. Let's click on close. And close this console as well. Already I mounted the ISO image of our Windows Server 2016 Evolution Edition. Let's open DVD drive. And uh, here we have a folder named Support. Under Support folder, we have another folder named Adiprep. And here we have a command Adiprep.exe, which we are going to use for schema update process. Let's close this console. At the command prompt, Let's uh, navigate to D drive, cd, support, slash, adiprep, and let's type a command adiprep.exe slash question mark, because first of all, we're going to take help of this command. Okay, first of all, we are going to use uh, this command adiprep slash forest prep, that will update forest information. Let's open the another command prompt, and let's navigate to D drive, cd, support slash adprep and let's type command adprep.exe slash forest prep press enter if all domain controllers in the forest run windows server 2003 or later you want to upgrade the schema confirm by typing c and then press enter to continue press c and then press enter now the current schema version is 69 upgrading schema version to 87 and this will take some time to upgrading the schema version to 87.
the command has completed successfully. Now uh, let's run command edprep.exe slash domain prep. Okay, as you can see, edprep successfully updated the domain wide information. Now let's check the schema version again. Let's open regedit. And here you can see the current schema version is 87. And that will support Windows Server 2016 as a domain controller in our existing Windows Server 2012 R2 domain. In the next part of this video series, we are going to promote a Windows Server 2016 server to a domain controller, including DNS and global catalog. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.